cool beans. There's the stream. Let me just quickly get a link. Hello there, Hats. Mate, you came here fast, didn't you? <laughs> Welcome. And yes, weekend stream. It is time for a weekend stream. It is time for the adventures of Becca and Timothy Cart. No, Timothy Carter. Oh, I got his name wrong. Timothy Carter. <laughs> I gotta build a road. <laughs> I gotta build a very, very big road. Let me just um reduce my volume a little bit. Hey, hey, mate, nice one has, very nice. So how are you doing then today? Or how how has your day been, I should say? Right. <gasps> and Saga! Hello there, Saga! Now then, uh, I've got a couple of things we want to do. The first thing is, I actually unlocked an upgrade recently. The tool shelf. I need iron, fine wood, and obsidian. And we can't really see in here, can we? Because it's so damn dark. So let me do you guys a quick little favour. And where's that filter? There we go. That should hopefully be a bit better for you there. I've just set the gamma up. Hello there, Guy. Welcome as well. Let me just check on the wood supply. Uh, while I'm at it, just for... Oh, that's the wrong thing. Where's my helmet? I'm going to get my little light source. And hello there, Alice Bill. Welcome, mate. Yes, we can stream. Hello. I'm doing quite quite well, thank you very much, Gee. How about yourself? <clears throat> I've been awake for about... Oh, actually, about two hours. My improved sleeping patterns kicked in. I actually woke up naturally at a decent time on a weekend, so I'm really happy about that. So I was originally going to set an alarm because, you know, like I said, I'm trying to fix my sleeping pattern, like, properly once and for all, and I was going to do it over the weekend. Kev said not to. I understand why. It's a bit unhealthy. Turns out I woke up uh, at a normal time anyway. Well, normal-ish. I think 12 is, like, normal given my track record so far. So I've been awake for, like, a little bit of time away all of the copper or no all of the iron chuck it all in there as well your day's been chill in more ways than one first off you're relaxed all day did a bit of drawing and secondly autumn is here now nice oh god i wish autumn was here in game all i can hear is storming last one has lovely to hear you've been enjoying yourself so far Jackie, welcome Jackie, you're awake i've missed you I mean, I know you've been here, you know, you've been around every now and then, but I, I missed you, man. Busy cleaning up? Oh, that's one, Gee. Really nice. I was thinking, like, just for today, right? Even if I stream for, like, only two hours, you know, even if it's just a small stream, I think it'll be nice to get on anyway. Just do a couple of little things, hang out, chat for a while, and then whenever the stream's done, depending on time left, I'll do, like, a little bit of tidying after that. The house is generally tidy anyway, it's just a case of, you know, Picking up any loose things, doing the kitchen. Dishes in it. Dishes are the one thing that you got to do every day regardless. Ah, uh, what do I want? I want fine woods. I need ten, right? Yes, just ten. And I actually have some. What a surprise. I normally never have fine wood. Yeah, me too, Gia. I hope everyone's doing well today. I hope everyone's having a good weekend so far. Right, how much obsidian do I want? I want four obsidian. And this, so I can get myself a tool shelf, which I believe is just going to be a upgrade. Can I use it? No, I can't. I got a workbench level five. I finally upgraded a damn workbench. That means I can finally upgrade my, my uh, cloak. How much armor does that have currently? Two armor. I finally get more armor. You can't get, at least to my knowledge, you can't get things like iron or bronze cloaks. So I've been using the troll hide cloak this entire time. I can finally upgrade it. Turns out getting the bench to level 5 is, uh, takes quite a while. <gasps> Jackie, what are you drawing? Oh, that's perfect timing, I'm glad. What are you drawing? Wow, it's a level 6 upgrade as well, damn. Right, well, I can't do that one yet, but hopefully I can soon. <laughs> Sneaky. Hello, Yumus. Good morning. How are you doing today? The Parasaur Trike Styro Croc Dude. Y you know what, Jackie? I love the sound of that. <laughs> it sounds like a pretty cool character. 
Right, let's chuck all those away. Chuck that in here and chuck the bones in here. Right then. Yeah, it does sound amazing to be fair. Oh, nice one, Gears. Good to hear it's nearly done then. So for the rest of the day, you can just sit back and chill. A parasuri... A, wait, hold on. A parasurasuchus? Parasurasuchus? That sounds pretty badass, actually. Let's see. How's the sky? Any Easter eggs today? None today. Right then, what do I want to do first? There's a couple of things I want to do. I've just done the upgrade, which was uh, required. I probably am going to do the path. I need to do a highway. Draki, do you remember the highway that you and uh, Loki showed me before? I kind of need my own one now. Right, where's my cart? I've got one cart here. I've got like five carts now in general. <laughs> Let me just grab that. I'm gonna fill up with uh, stone and wood. Yes, pathing time. Oh god. I reckon it's gonna be like a fair amount of uh, just digging away today. We're not digging, more like pathing away. Oh, actually, let me do it back here. That did not work by the slightest. Come on, there we go. And move that here. So that I can then, wait, get off. There we go. So I can take all that back. Chuck it all in here. Now I'm hopefully, I'm gonna try to use as little resources as possible because I don't really want to. Oh, wait, that would, damn you would. I was just gonna say. I had to make like a very long uh, highway kind of thing and I don't really like the idea of um, there'd be like so much terraforming or so many like bridges everywhere because I just get damaged anyway. But I'm bringing all this just in case I need it because I'm gonna be going through Black Forest. There we go. That same donation keeps on happening. I actually think it's bugged. I'm not sure how. <laughs> that super chat. I've seen it happen like five times now. I'm really confused. <laughs> oh, it's the one from yesterday. Oh, but I'm grateful. I'm very grateful, but I think it's bugged. There we go. Daylight cycle's gone now, so let's go ahead and just drop the filter. There we go. Near Horned Crocodile. That actually sounds pretty cool, to be honest. Right then, so I've got a whole bunch of stone and wood. Let us go making a path. Actually, I need my tool. <laughs> That's important, isn't it? Getting, uh, getting the tools to do it with. It's the ghost on the YouTube stream. It is! It is! <laughs> it's weird. I don't know how it's happened, but it's pretty cool, though, to be fair. We have a ghost. That's weird. Doesn't show durability. Huh. Let's quickly repair those. Oh, I can do it here, in fact. No, I can't. I gotta do it at the other one. Oh, come on. Do that one and do that one. Yeah, I agree. It has. You're really good at it. You're very good at it. Right then, so how exactly am I going to do this then? I mean, I know how, but I'm wondering how I'm going to connect to the house. I think I'm just going to do like, I'm not going to connect it actually, because I need to do like a moat and a fence and all that kind of stuff later anyway, so I may as well just do the path like, I don't know, over here. So I need to get a path. Oh, it's lightning. I need to get a path going, I'd say like up here. I wanted to connect to that uh, to this continent over here. So if I'm gonna do that. It's gonna take a while, I think. Oh, random dead ball. <laughs> okay then. Right, let's start here. So all I all I really need to do for the lab, this is gonna be really uh, simple, straightforward to be honest. All I have to do is just flatten out a path. It just takes a while. So, let's begin. Actually, I think flatten's probably the pro proper one to use. I 
think this is going to take a while. <laughs> so everyone, what's your plans for the weekend then? Or at least what's your plans for today? Hello, Meg. How, hold on. How are you gorgeous life deserters, deserters? Behaving this communistically opposed rubber duck infested knobhead. What? Hey, Mag, doing well. How about yourself? <laughs> you absolutely what, mate? <laughs> That's a new one. Oh, here's where things already get a bit trickier. That's a freaky giant reindeer. Hold on. There we go. For some reason, that reindeer just looked really odd. But hey, got a lot of meat from that. I do actually still, still need to invest again, like raspberries, getting meat every constantly. I need to get a farm. Like, uh, I need to actually make a farm around here somewhere, and I also need to look into taming balls at one point. What does that mean? That's a good question. <laughs> That's a very, very good question. What does it mean? Saga, I hope you enjoy yourself in the stream. And Mag, good. Good. I'm, I'm glad that you do well, man. It's always, it's always lovely seeing you pop by. <laughs> oh my goodness. Right then. I think this is going to take a while. Now, what I really need, right? So right now, my, uh, my cart is quite encumbered. I should never have to go away from base of encumbered carts, but I still want to have the option too. What the hell? Fuckers. Got me. Got me. Ah, stamina. Come on. And last one. That last one? Yep, good. Oh, you're gonna go bowling? Oh, nice one, Mag. Oh, that sounds fun. Right then, let me just backpedal this slightly. I want to turn it around because I need to make like a bit of a... I think maybe I may have to do like a couple of bridges here and there. Because I do find our bridges are um, <clears throat> a lot more reliable. Let's see then. Let's just take out one of those. I'll trade that in there. But take one of them. Trade that in. Oh, that's too much. There we go. Right then. So let's shove this down. And let's get ourselves some... Of, I think these are the good ones. No, these. Oh, it's gonna look like crap. Or I could do a tunnel. I'm actually thinking a tunnel might be the best way to go about it. Saga, I completely agree. I completely and utterly agree with that. Right, well, first things first, just repair that quickly. And then yoink that down. Just so I can chuck in like the random stuff, like all the meat. <gasps> it's sunny, we can see! Hurrah! <laughs> what, Mac? <laughs> Such a creative person. <laughs> the. Hold on, where's that? The glassy toothus? Hold on. The Glacia Lilia Toothus. The frozen squid kraken. That sounds really cool, Has. Yeah, like Draki said, you are really good when it comes to these scientific names. Really good. Right, can I try and just flatten it out a little bit? A bit like that, a bit like that. I don't want it to be like slightly higher. What if I use a path and option? No, right, this is gonna take some time, I reckon. But hey. The longer it takes me to do this, the the more time we get to spend together, friends. <gasps> Ooh. Let's go. Oh, God, I'm going diagonally. So it's a bit of an issue, right? This is something I'm going to have to deal with, is that uh, if I ever go diagonally across the uh, terrain, you get like this jumbled mess, and I don't want that. I don't want all the, um, all the zigzagging. So I'm thinking, it'd probably be for the best if I just cut straight east. Yeah, cut straight eastward and then just do a path along the beach. Then again, though, if there's ever like a bit of a dodgy storm. No, no, that would work. I'm overthinking this. I don't need to make some long, ridiculous path. I can just go straight east because I'm going to have to boat either way because I'm tr trying to connect it to here. 
In fact, I could even do it as minimal as do a path here because I'm trying to get to our old base and then do a path over here to do two docks and just connect it. So yeah, I'm definitely overthinking it. I have that habit, what can I say? Oh, run out of stone. Make a massive valley through the mountain. That would take forever. That would take so long. And I know I just said, you know, we'll spend more time together, but but Mag, that'd take forever. Though that would actually be really cool. That would be extremely cool if, uh, if we did have that. Oh, let me just quickly do that. Let's just rise it up a little bit. We'll try and, you know, level this back out again. In fact, it can, it can sell on that. Fuck it. It's, it's good enough, isn't it? Let's just put the grass back down then. My wolf, by the way. Welcome. I did see, actually. I've seen recently in this game, people started doing buildings that are, like, partially underground or partially um, in... Like, kind of caves. Like, they're making, like, little faux caves with uh, rocks or whatever. And it looks really cool. I kind of I kind of do want to make a valley at some point. Let's go and do the IRL. Yeah, yeah, like hobbit holes. I've seen some people do something like that. And it looks so adorable. I love it. Right, if we're going straight east, then I want to be going this way. So let's just go ahead then. I know I just grass all the area up, but that's okay. So I'm going to be going this way. Because in terms of the map geometry, this should be a bit more in our favour. So let's see then, what do I have to expect in terms of the path? I got a bunch of trees in the way. Got a giant rock in the way, that's gonna be great. True, Ronnie, true. Now, I have heard, apparently, that if you do terraform too much, it can lag out the game. So I'm a little bit conscious of that. Which is why I don't like terraforming too much, and also because it takes ages. <laughs> It does take a very, very long time. But then again, though, it is early access, isn't it? It's uh, probably unoptimized. I mean, it's better than ARC <laughs> in terms of optimization, but you get what I'm saying? So I think, yeah, like over the course of time, that could probably be, um, like, when it's fully fleshed out, that could be really good. Hopefully. Should be. I'll cut down that tree in a moment. Ah, you missed That's what it is. I see. Oh, God. Oh god, trees. Damn it, you're, you're, you ruined my path. Oh, I kind of went a bit to a side anyway. That's okay though, because I ideally need this to be about too wide anyway. Let's do a bit more then. <laughs> Attack of the tree, made hey, those damn trees. And I think, so I can see that the lower right hand side is rising above with me. But I think I should just be able to flatten it afterwards with the hoe. I mean, look, me. I'm, I'm in no rush for this. I think once the entire little pathway is done, I think I will like actually like make a kind of little, little valley type of thing. So put like a ceiling all, all around on top of it. Right. I think... I'm pretty sure a cart could make it through that. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it definitely looks wide enough. But it might be a bit too steep, though. Now, this is like a very heavy cart. So it's got all the stone and wood in it. So it's be a good t test to see if uh, I can actually, you know, bring it upwards. It's a bit of a ditch there, but I can fix that. Ooh, it kind it barely works. Then again, though, I'm not likely to ever bring a heavy cart out, am I? Only ever in, but I kind of probably should fix that. I could just make it flat. I could just like cut through the entire valley. I think I might have to. <laughs> Imagine Valheim Mega Builds, a house uh, falls through the damn ground. Oh god. Maybe step like. Ideally, uh, what I could probably do actually, is since actually, yeah, that's a point. Since I'm going to be sealing or roofing it off, I could just use these. No. These. Because I already know that the cart behaves a lot better on uh, roofing than it does on paths or f uh, ground. I could do that. But look ugly though. Right, can I try and turn you around? Yep, good. Yeah, I think uh, 
maybe like a bit of a step thing, and then not a 45%, but less deep one. I like that. I don't think it works on that one, actually. Right, let's chuck away. In fact, yeah, no, no, we'll, we'll just flatten it out. It'll be fine. Let's uh, get up the trees first, but they're in the way. Have a bit of my cup of tea. Mm. I forgot the small trees disintegrate like that. That's me getting ready to spend ages cutting it. Oh, that didn't work. And abandoning fandom. Thank you for the follow, by the way, and welcome. Oh, trust my luck. There's a copper node right in the way. That's just typical, isn't it? <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> well, at least I've got some copper nearby. That's definitely nice. Oh, God. Well, that works. Right, let me just get rid of these stump quickly. This is a bit awkward, but it kind of works. There we go. And I just heard a grayling, I think. Yep, I did. Oi, mate, you want to fucking fight? You want to fight, mate? No, you ran off, pussy. It did, didn't it? That log went for an absolute trip as it came down. There we go. Any more wood? No, just a branch. <laughs> I like how it's running around the path and it won't just fall in with me. I mean, I guess it makes sense, but still. Hello, Galaxy. Welcome. Yes, I'm building a road. Welcome, welcome. Right then. Yeah, I think, uh, like I said, I'll just go with like a bit of a flat-ish thing. At least I get a lot of stone in the process, because stone is the kind of thing that, uh, like, the last time I had a ton of stone, I ended up using every little bit of it. Like, I at one point had hundreds of spare stone, but I had to use all of it to build the base, so I'd be quite happy to get more. <laughs> you do get a fair amount from doing things like this. And go a bit more to the side. I'll get both angle, uh, both sides there. How are you doing today, Galaxy? Right, and let's just flatten it out. See how it's doing. So we've got a bit of the thing to the side there. Otherwise, it's mostly okay. Timber, <laughs> nice on Tiger. You just slept about 20 hours? Jesus Christ, I hope you're doing alright. I did nothing. Hmm. Well, that sounds quite an effective looking uh, little ditch so far. <gasps> nice one has. Let's see. I'm going to keep that there for now, because I think I can probably get away with that small path there, couldn't I? It's just these little ones here that are a bit annoying. But then it chops off all of that, doesn't it? Oh, that's entirely fair, Galaxy. I get that. To be fair, Kev kind of does a similar thing, actually. But I think most likely for very different reasons, right? Uh, what Kev likes to do is he will, because uh, Kev gets like very little sleep during the week, he kind of catches up on the weekends. And I know people have mixed feelings on that. <laughs> I know some people think that's very unhealthy and others say it's perfectly fine. But that's what he does. But I know that's probably like a different reason to why you do it. Little achy but sleep, little achy sleep but all good. You guys are doing well. Like uh, overall. <laughs> and the valley begins. Mag, you won. The valley is coming to fruition? Hey, can you like dig downwards, please? Oh, there we go. That's more like it. Such a weird thing. 
thing this game does sometimes, right, is that whenever you try to uh, dig, like, if you try to dig into a path, it will raise the area that you're currently standing on. That's a weirdly, like, uh, what's the word, clean slope. That's a little bit odd. Huh, not going to complain, though. Can I just flatten out all this area around here? As I know, all around here is very, uh, kind of all over the place, isn't it? Hello, Adrian. Good morning, mate. Welcome. Let's try that. Okay, that's a lot more smooth. Could I actually go up this little rampy area here? I doubt it. No, okay, I can't. That's fine, though. Because I wasn't really intending to. It's more of a case of taking advantage if I could. Oi, oi. Get, get, get off. Get off. Go back. Oh, wait, that may be a mistake. Yeah, exactly, has exactly. I think it's like, you know, not a thing to rely on, but every now and then you're like, D there are simply just some times where you do need to catch up and I can't sleep. I think we've all felt that way at least once uh, each. Grab that stone, chuck all that in there. Right then. I feel cold, oh no. Let me just, once again, get the filter so you guys can see a bit clearer. There we go. And I need my light on. Oh, mouse. There we go. Right, let's start going forward then. Yeah, indeed, kids. Absolutely. It's the kind of thing, right, where you, you just feed it, don't you? Like, you never really know if you need... You never really know when you need it, but... When you're like, you know, waking up one day, you just feel absolutely exhausted. That's the time just, you know, turn around and have a bit more. Your body tells you when you need it. Yeah, me too, Mag. It's a really cool touch, isn't it? I love how it kind of generates by itself over time. Right, I'm just going to try and flatten all this area down. Let's see. Get a bit of stamina. It does actually work. Well, that's the thing, though, you miss. Is that there's times. Let me think. How to uh, how to explain it? It doesn't have to be very often, but there are absolutely times where, if I've just you know, for example, had a very busy week. If I say I had my eight hours of sleep over the weekend, there are times where I will still just feel so dreadfully exhausted. Where having a bit of extra sleep does actually help. So I guess maybe I was gonna say like maybe it's more of a mentality thing, but you can't really fight that though. Like that kind of physical uh, exhaustion when you're waking up. That's not a mentality thing, is it? I don't know. I guess it's different for everyone. But I know I've personally had times where you just require those couple of extra hours. Thankfully, I'm not getting them as much anymore. I used to get it all the time. But I've been better recently. Thankfully. Hello, Fori Leader. Oh. How you doing? I feel like I've not seen you in ages. How are you doing today? Wait, come back. There we go. Oh, 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 right, yeah, okay, no. Okay, yeah, I completely agree with that. I think uh, we may have just misunderstood each other in that case. Yeah, no, I agree with that. Oh, sorry about that, Foraline. Yeah, that old chestnut. Oh, <laughs> thankfully I'm on now. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know, time zones are a bit of a bitch, aren't they? I'm, I'm I'm not making a promise here, but I am hoping to begin streaming on the weekends more often. Hence, you know, today, right now. It depends entirely on like a multiple different factors, but it would be nice to get into this habit more often. Because like for people like yourself who just, you know, can't really come around otherwise. Not to mention, I just want to be here more. Oh, bloody copper deposit right in the way. Hmm. 
Hmm. I feel like I might be reaching a point where um, there are like, limitations to how low you can dig in some areas. And I feel like I might be hitting that here because I just can't get this platform any lower. Hmm. We'll keep going forward. <laughs> indeed, Yumus, indeed. Ow! Bloody twat grayling. Right, for now I'm just going to dodge around the uh, copper deposit. I will dig into it eventually, but I'm in no rush to dig into it right now. Oh yeah, well to be fair, Ronnie, it's a good thing that you've recognised that. Like, that's really important that you've recognised that fact. So that should help you in regards to, you know, trying to uh, avoid doing that. I would hope anyway. Oi. Oi, 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 oi. Meh. As much as I like the whole rested system in this game, God, it does punish you, doesn't it? Like, if you're not rested, the stamina drain is, or the stamina recovery is so low, it feels punishing you don't rest. Like, I want to keep on going, but I'm not going to have a choice, am I? I'm going to have to go um, get some rest. Yeah, I'm thinking that as well, Yumis. It definitely seems to be the case, doesn't it? What I'm going to try doing then, once I uh, get my stamina back up, what I'm going to try to do then is just like cut all the way to the top of that uh, hill that I'm currently working with and then once I'm at the top I can then build up the rest to slope into something more um, more functional. I think that should hopefully work. There we go. Thoroughly, Valheim is it's a survival game. I, I need to think of like a good way to summarize this game. <laughs> it's a survival game that uh, is all about like Vikings and such, Norse mythology. You can explore, you can build, you can go adventuring, go into crypts and underground areas and fight enemies. Uh, you can do bosses. The bosses are actually quite hard in this game, which I really like. Quite a challenge. There's a lot of uh, upgrading and maximizing character, your skills, your armor, your weapons. It's just a fun little RPG. Yeah, Minecraft with, but with Vikings, exactly. The map is absolutely ginormous. This is all I've discovered so far in regards to the sizes. I've been um, on this map for about 100 hours and that's all I have. <laughs> it's an absolutely massive world and yeah, it's basically like Minecraft with Vikings. It's a lot of fun, it's been really good, and it's really like taking a lot of people by surprise. <laughs> yeah, exactly, a dead viking who's cleaning up the afterlife for Odin. That's pretty much it, isn't it? Right then, let's make our way upwards then. Get to the top of this. So... I think like the whole valley idea, so like having a little underground tunnel, tunnel will work for like the majority of places, like for the really steep areas. But otherwise it would be nice to have like, I'll just like have it where the path is sometimes underground, sometimes above ground. So I don't think it really matters, and not like any strict rule for it. As long as it functions, it's all I really care about, so it's not going to look pretty. <laughs> Dracky, that's quite accurate, isn't it? And of course go right into- am I going to the Arctic? Oh, I'm going straight into the mountain. That's not ideal. Hmm. I mean, I guess I can make some things a little bit easier in the long run, but uh, I don't really want this to go straight through the mountain. <laughs> Whoops. Well, it's that. It's either having a straight path through the mountain or having a curve and snake all around the place. And I think having the path curve and snake is going to cost way more, uh, like, way more time than it's worth. Oh, 
or mag. I think a bear claw is like some kind of um, cakey thing. Like a cake donut pastry, I'm not sure. I've, I've never had one either. But I've seen Americans refer to it quite often. I think it's like a giant sweet pretzel. Or pretzel shaped, I think. No, no, not pretzel shaped at all. It's shaped like a bear claw, isn't it? I don't know, it's like a weird cake thing. Right, dig out all this area here. This is clearly where it's all a bit of a mess. <laughs> yeah, has I know what you mean with that. Oh, I want to try again. I'm gonna leave. Yeah, like I said, I'm gonna leave this here for now then, because that's just gonna take a long time to cut through. Yeah, it has. I know exactly the feeling that you're referring to. Well, like I said, I've never actually had a bear claw. I've only, like, seen images of how I'm described. So the description I've been given kind of reminds me of a pretzel. Well, like, I know there's two kinds of pretzels, aren't there? There's the pretzel where um, it's, like, a very large pastry kind of snack or lunch. And there's the other ones where they're, like, where, where, where excuse me, they are the little um, kind of, like, chips or crisps or whatever the little small salty uh, crunchy ones I like how as I'm trying to dig downwards it's mostly causing me to dig upwards only in Valheim do you dig upwards there we go that should be a bit of a flatter area okay that's better can work with this. A bear claw is a sweet yeast raised pastry, a type of Danish, originating from the United States during the mid 1920s. Ah, I see. Oh, okay, that makes more sense. Oh, I'm going to get rid of all that, aren't I? Yep, I probably am. Also, the road here is really lopsided, so I do think that. Oh, you twat. Cargo? Oh, huh. I've actually never seen that before. All the little cargo pieces. That's pretty cool, actually. You broke my damn cart, you twat. All right, then. I've got the nails. That's the first cart I've had destroyed. I just realised that's actually the first one I've ever had destroyed. <laughs> Bloody thing. Hold on. Put that away. Put that back there. We'll chuck that in there. Grab that, grab all of that, chuck all that away in there. No wonder why I've never seen it before, those little boxes. Those boxes were kind of cute, actually. <laughs> yeah, you miss true. There we go. Is that everything? Yep, yeah, I think it is. Bit of my tea. Hello, Jenna. Welcome, mate. Good morning. Oh, good old cup of tea. Hmm. I want to check something, actually. I should shove that back on, actually. <laughs> and Tony Carter. <laughs> and true. Why does nature hate the carts? It's mean. It's uncalled for. So if I could be digging through the mountain then, then what kind of path am I looking at? Oh, a bad path. With a copper deposit right in the middle. So I'm looking to be cutting my path all the way through this. That's not exactly viable. Hold on, let me pop it there. Yeah, I'm... I really should go around the mountain, actually.
So what do we have all around here then? We've got a lot. I mean, it's not, it's not terribly large. With enough stubbornness, I definitely could cut straight through. Uh, no, I couldn't. It'd be very steep afterwards. Ah, oh, this isn't gonna work. Yeah, okay. Fuck. Spent all that time built. Now I've got some great big ugly ditch near my base. <laughs> That's a bit unfortunate. I might be dead. I'm dead. Oh, stamina. That's fine. I can get it back easily. Ah, oh, fucking stamina. Yeah, by the way, yeah, wolves are strong, guys. If you haven't already noticed, all wolves are very strong. <laughs> right. How how am I going to get a path around then? Because I've already seen, right, that having, like, a big circular path is going to suck. Probably the most, like, efficient thing I could do then is having, like, a raised path. But, God, that is so much building. Oh, whoops. Did that again. Let's get a rested buff. So, my corpse is only over there. So all I want to do is just cut a straight path, like straight east. That would have been so simple. And there's not really any other way I can do it, is there? It could be a little hobbit hole, that's true. And just grab one of these. Hmm, thinking. <laughs> it looks so ugly. Damn you, nature! It's tea rum time. Has you? Are you encouraging ales, alcoholicness? Mate. Right, so I should hopefully be able to just get my uh, corpse without the wolves killing me immediately. Because I'm pretty sure that whenever you select your corpse, you get like a little uh, grace, grace period. There we go. Pick all that up quickly. I can hear the wolves behind me. One right there, in fact. God, these things have crazy knockback. Right, there we go. May as well loot the other one quickly. Yeah, these things, the, the wolves have like absolutely insane knockback when they attack. So you really do have to attack them uh, from range, don't you? True ale, good point, good point. And yeah, I guess uh, I guess I'll have to leave the, the ditch as a future hobbit hole then. It'd be fun, it's like a little storage area. A bit out of the way, but it would be quite fun having that as that. What is this rock? What a bizarrely shaped rock. Oh wait, there's a little altar, wait, what the hell? Huh? Is that like something here? Dig it? Really? That, that was a building part there. Hold on. It was nearly destroyed, so let's just go ahead and do that. Is this a grave that uh, you and Loki were talking about? I saw you and Loki mentioning how you were like finding graves yesterday or this morning. I'm not seeing any graves here. How random. Dig into the actual rock. Okay then. Oh! Oh, that's funky. So there really are graves in the game. Oh, that's so weird. I love it, to be honest. I guess that's all, though, isn't it? That's probably all of it. Strange. That's actually really cool. Pet trail, true. That'd be really cool actually if this game did have caves like that, like giant underground caves.
Right then, let's go back to my little crappy valley then. <laughs> Draki AC! Is that a mushroom? No, it's a rock. <laughs> yeah, I'm now a grave robber. This is my desecrated remains. Aha! And pearls. Oh, let's just shove that there. There we go. Right, so... This plan's obviously not going to work. So I'm just thinking, what else... Oh, how am I going to do this then? So like I said, what I all I really need is just to have um, a path straight to the ocean. Uh, technically, right, diagonally. Yeah, but that's going to be really shit in terms of geometry. But I might not have a choice in that one though. I might I might have to go di uh, diagonally. It's just going to take so much more time because uh, the way that the terrain is, or, like all the zigzaggy corners everywhere. Ah, fuck this game. Or I just make a path, like I make a um, a wood path. Yeah, honestly, now that I think about it, I think a path might be like the most eloquent solution. Oh, this could take so long though. Oh wait, get my belt. Why have I not got my gear equipped? Why not straight corners? Yeah, that's actually a fair point as well. I guess it would also just take longer, but that's actually a good point. I could do corners. I think um, probably the most eloquent solution is just doing a... In fact, you know what guys? Draki can attest to this one. I'm just flashing back to when I first tried to get my carts here and how digging was the wrong way. I do need to make bridges. Right then, bridges are the key. So, the very, very first time I had to try get my... Oh, hold on. The very first time I tried to get my cart back to base, like, full of copper, it was an absolute raging nightmare. Yeah, you're still pained by that? Me too. I can't believe I nearly forgot it. And that's when I learned, that's when we all learned, actually, that digging your way out is the worst thing to do. Right, let's go find the border of the ice biome then, because I don't want to cut into the mountain. So I will do it like a bit diagonally, a bit round all over the place then. Bridge spaghetti? Mate, do I look like Josh to you? Well, maybe actually. <laughs> I think you're a bridge spaghetti. Might go a bit badly. Or will it? Maybe it'll be, maybe that's, maybe that's the, uh, the best idea. This is a regular rock, right? Yes. Okay. All right then. Strategy number two. This is going to take a while. Thankfully, we have woods in abundance. Let's sink. I'm actually going to start to get some core wood here, aren't I, I think? I don't really need core wood, come to think of it. I'm not going to use my mace at all, let's do that. So yeah, like I said earlier, friends, you know, more, more time spent together, more time suffering. Is that? No. I really want to see you play Satisfactory and probably <laughs> fail to avoid conveying spaghetti. I keep forgetting about Satisfactory. I keep on meaning to play that. Ah! To be fair, though. Ooh, I'm stuck. To be fair, though, that is actually one of the reasons, not because satisfactory, but in general, why I've been so, um, a lot more focused on Valheim recently is because, while well, one, I am actually enjoying the game, I really hate streaming a game and then not finishing it. Oh, I want to get into the habit of, you know, like, actually finishing games on stream. So I really want, like, for, so for example, here, Valheim, I want to, like, you know, get, like, a good, good crack at this game and then eventually move on to something else. Right, and then we'll just yoink that downwards. Hello, Sly, welcome, mate. Ah, why did that scare me? That had no reason to scare me. Did that actually work properly? No. But that is properly stable, okay, good. You're button mashing like crazy. 
Well, hopefully in a good way, my move. Oh, good point that Aeol. Yeah, you're right. That's a point. So what is Satisfactory Ad now? Like, is this, is this still technically an early access game? I completely forgot about that. And give me a sec, I'll message on Discord to see if there's anything important. Right now, all good. Right, and then keep going this way. With this. At some point eventually, right? So I'm going to be making this like, really, really simplistic. You know, it's also going to, it's going to be all about the function, but I think eventually I will look into making this pretty. Now, what I'm trying to do is... Let me just do this, actually. Can I try and get, like, what? There we go, perfect. Yeah, eventually I'll make this look pretty. Hello, Gabby. Welcome, mate. How are you doing this fine Saturday? Damn you, rock! I mean, I know I could, like, I could just, you know, build around it, but it's the principle. It's the principle, guys. It's in my way. Oh, that's my mistake. Now, thankfully, I am already aware that uh, just having, like, the simple path, um, like, having a one wide path is enough. I've somewhat done this before. Not to this extent, but I have had to make a path like this in the past. Just much shorter range. I'm doing alright, thank you very much, Sly. Yeah, I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Oh, nice one, Mind Morph. Ah, oh, tell you guys what. You know what, it's a game I've been, like, racking my head to play. Like, if I weren't playing Valheim, I'd probably be playing this other game instead. It's Dark and Light. And I'm sure many of you have heard me obsess over that game a lot. It's because I want, like, I really want to stream it one day. It's just every time I get the itch, I play Ark instead. <laughs> God, that's a game I, I really need to finish at some point. Did I share a spawner? I thought I did. Also, uh, yeah, the tree may have moved downwards. That is actually a thing in this game, right? Where if you dig beneath a tree, uh, gravity does, does sorry, gravity does kick in and it does fall downwards, which is pretty darn cool. Right, cool, that's nice and stable. Grab that. D arc and light it has arc in it. Mate, exactly true, true. Oh, Draki, absolutely. I uh, Whenever I do play Dark and Light, I will be making a server for it. Like, 100%. You know what? That makes it like a bit of a nice natural railing. <laughs> natural railing. Uh, it works. There we go. That kind of works, doesn't it, guys? Let's just go ahead and uh, move that a little bit more inwards. Hold on. I believe. There we go. Oh, piss off. And just quickly go ahead and repair all that because the tree did fall onto it after all. In theory, at one point eventually, I could make all this out of stone. No, I couldn't actually. There's no. St oh, there's, there's a stone stair. There is that, I guess. Oh, whoops, that was a bit wrong. Go ahead and redo that, grab that, go all the way downwards. So this should be quite a bit more effective, I hope. Or at least I don't have to worry about terrain quite as much. Perfect. Yeah, carton's there, that's true. Yeah, so while I could use stone, like, stone pieces eventually, I think, you're right, like, these stairs would be a bit of an issue for it. On the plus side, so as ugly this is going to look, right, this is going to look really, really ugly. On the plus side, I will never have to worry about terraform lag. Which I know is kind of unlikely in the first place, but it's not something I've ever really, like, I've been very paranoid about terraform lag.
Right then. Gotta admit though, we've already made it further than we did earlier. Put that down there. And can I keep on going the slope route? Yep. To about there, I think. In fact, that is starting to slope, isn't it? Yeah, so we want to go, oh god, straight for a little bit more. Perhaps, perhaps I'll become the Kung Fu Master where you want, mate. Why am I going to be the Kung Fu Master? I mean, I'd happily be one, that'd be cool. I wish I, I wish I knew some kind of uh, martial art like that. I hear you. Where are you? I can see... Look at that, all those eyes in the distance. Oh wait, did I just go the wrong direction? I think it did. No, it didn't. Yeah, it did. What the hell? Rotated. How dare you rotate? I see, Jenna, I see. I understand. <laughs> Welcome, Ragdoll, to good morning. Good morning, good morning. Chuck that down there, chuck that there. Yeah, this is definitely, this little pathway is definitely starting to remind me of Josh. Which I guess, to be fair, is not exactly a bad thing, is it? Probably more of an, more of an achievement. <laughs> oh, that's horribly wrong. Damn it. Uh, let's try that again then. Lag. There we go. Nailed it. Yep, nailed it. Not enough campfires. <laughs> true, true. That's what I should do. I should just line the entire path with nothing but campfires. What is that? Oh, there's skeletons over there with swords. Oh, I could just see like a little uh, glowing line in the distance. I wasn't sure what I was at first. I'm really concerned. Oh, by the way, guys, I had my first uh, post-bone mass invasion yesterday. It was fun. It was, it was a lot of fun. Uh, it kind of made me realise, right, that the fact that I don't have any of my uh, trenches or fences up yet, it didn't really matter. <laughs> hmm. So I'm kind of in no rush to make that trench or fence. I will still do it eventually, right, because I'm still going to need it for, like, trolls and such. But, uh... Let's just say that they made it kind of clear that it wasn't really the biggest loss in the world. Yeah, you know what happens, Draki? Yeah. It was fun. It's actually going straight towards base. This is uh, quite perfect. Oh, I heard that. Oh, hello. You missed! I am getting worried about all the skeletons spawning near base though. So. It's been like happening every night. It's definitely starting to feel more and more like Minecraft with the uh, constant skeletons. Oh, is that not properly connected? Let me just... Oh no, yeah, it is. I'm just being a bit silly. So we'll just stick that down there and stick that right there. Perfect. <laughs> true, Jenna, true. Oh, whoops. So this one should be now on the foundation, or now on the floor like that, to be a foundation block. Uh, let's quickly kill that. What, where are you going, mate? Come back! You mongo? I know what it is. They're angry. They're angry because I've desecrated their friend's remains. That's what it is. That's why they're all spawning over here now. It's their fault for putting an amber pearl offering. They will just ask for trouble when they did that. Right. 
we'll stick that up there. Put another pathway there. We'll do like a little block right there to stabilize it. Now, the entire thing with this path, right, is I just have to make sure that during the entire journey, I just don't sprint. Because if I sprint, like, as I'm taking the cart out, there's a very high chance that it will just go flying off the edge. Uh, maybe I want to have, like, a couple of little, um, what do you call it, little ramps here and there, so that if I ever do fall off, I can just run it back on again. Perfect. Right, that I think, that's sort of fine height. That's not going to be in any issue, so I can keep on building like this. In fact, I'd say right there is kind of fine. Cool. And let's just go double check with the cart. So the cart should be, yep, all the way over here. I'm just going to leave the ditch as is. It's it's okay how it is. Right. Oh, but I still got a ton of stone. Uh, in that case, well, I think what I might have to do is just go back to base and drop off all the stone. So I'm not going to need that anymore. So for that, do I have any in here? I do. There we go. That should be fine. We'll just drop off the uh, random crap in there. And we'll drop off all the stone. Oh, I heard that. Somewhere, I just heard a skeleton. Well, I guess not anymore, though. It's kind of like ominous how there's just piles of loot all over the place. Uh, all over the base, excuse me. I'd say if anything, like around here is probably the hardest area to uh, move the cart, but as you can see, that was perfectly doable. So I don't really need to worry about the front of the base. At least again, like I don't have to worry about it until I build that trench. Because that's going to change the entire terrain regardless. So close. Come on. There we go. Get a bit more stamina. Oh, nice one, Draki. Good. Oh, wait. Go this way. Thank you, Jenna. Thank you, I'm very glad. Oh, one more. And we'll just stick a pile of stone like in the corner down here. There we go, good. Right, go ahead and chuck all that that one item away. Yeah, I'm, I'm really glad that you guys like the base, thank you. At some point, I do sort of decorate. So I've got like the overall structure sorted. But I do want to look into like actual decoration at some point. Like, we've, got, we've got a little bit here and there, such as around here, we've got the banners. But I think we could do a lot more. All right then, Sly, have a wonderful night and thank you very, very much. Take care of yourself. I got another Discord message. Oh, right, cool. Just a uh, bit of news. I've been checking Discord messages a lot more recently because uh, since Kev and I are now doing a lot more on World of Warcraft, I want to make sure I don't really miss anything important. Yes, an entire wall of troll trophies. Oh, you know, you know what would be like really cool and really horrible at the same time is whenever I eventually do the fencing, just have um, like poles with head skewed on top of it. You know, like a warning sign to any future raids. Obviously it won't work, but like just for fun. There we go. That works quite nicely, doesn't it? So long as I stand perfectly straight, that does actually work quite nicely. Just have to make sure I never, you know, fling myself off the edge. Oh, that is... Hmm. Let me... How much 
room do I have left in here? Loads. Right, I'm going to start just chucking away all the random crap in here as well then. And so I'm going to be seeing a lot of random crap as time goes on. I'm also going to want to get all the berries and mushrooms and thistle something that I can. Whoops. There we go. Let's just grab, oh, whoops, grab all that loot right there. May as well. Free wood and such. <laughs> you miss indeed. Oh wow, exactly, 450 space, perfect. Let's see then, just for like a quick little hypothetical. Uh, if I dunk down, we've got a bench all the way back there, let me quickly delete that one. As the path, like where it starts is perfectly fine, I don't need to change that at all. Yet. There we go. Let's just dunk a bench all the way over here. There we go. And could I afford to put down rails on a two wide? I don't think I can actually. Yeah, I think that might be too squashed. Yep, thought so. So if I do want to put rails on this, I'll eventually have to do it either on the one side, which will look a little bit jank, or do it on uh, make the entire thing too white. Which I might do, to be fair. I might do that in the future. Little floor tiles. Oh, oh, crap, crap. <laughs> Nearly ran off the edge that time. And that should be no problem. Yep, good. Perfectly no problem. True, yeah, there, there are the little one by one. So I feel like that if I'm going to extend it uh, in terms of width, I may as well choose a regular ceiling instead because I still have to place them down one way or the other. In fact, what's the cost? Two wood versus one wood, but I have to use that one wood twice anyway. So realistically, yeah, it's not even cost effective. I'd have to just use um, that one. A good thought, though. Oh, that's going off the edge a little bit. I'm really considering maybe I should go ahead and make it too wide now. There we go. I think at least, yeah, it's going to take longer, but I think it'll be worth the wait, uh, worth the, um, Additional materials. Just to be fair, even if it is too wide, that actually means that's uh, even less reason for me to uh, add railings in. Because if I if I run off a too wide thing, there's something else is wrong with me. Yeah, imagine a nice grand pathway. Imagine like in the future, we've got like um, archways, we've got roofing and such torches all around. I did see one streamer actually did a similar thing where he had like a very very large elaborate path and he decorated the entire thing with so many damn torches. It looked great but god imagine refueling it. Yeah exactly Rax, that's what I'm thinking as well. Put that there. On the plus side, doing this in the woods means that I'll never run out of wood. Be more worried about uh, my, what do you call it? My durability. So I could just plug down a ceiling on top of the workbench, no problem. Let's just yoink that down. Right, come on, right there. Ooh, there. One thing I really like about snapping in this game that I wish Ark had was the fact that... I guess Ark has it a little bit, actually. If you snap or try to place the item below the structure, it will smart snap for you and still recognise like where you're trying to put it. Whereas, I'm pretty sure in Ark, if you ever try to do that, you have to like directly look at it to get it to connect properly. It's so much simpler here. So just here. I don't even have to look up at it, I just have to look below it and it will automatically snap for me. Uh, not, not there though. Oh, 
There we go. Yeah, this this game is really a highlight of just how how basic arc building is. Like even just like as simple as middle mouse buttoning to uh, destroy things is just such a convenience. Because arc like arc does have a one button destroy as well for its building. But it's something weird, like C, I think. Like, if you look at building, press C or X or Z as one of those keys. It's just not as fluid, is it? All these random logs here. I think I'll harvest those in a moment, actually. I'm going to need that wood. <clears throat> in fact, what is my weight right now? I can afford to harvest it now. Oh, I see galaxy. And true, Ractos. Yeah, there is that. There we go, a bit more wood. Really nice, really nice. Let's go ahead then, and I just saw that. That is in the wrong location. I want to put this... I can't put it here. What if I put that one here? That works. Uh, no, it doesn't, actually. Although, that's just made me realise, why am I putting pillars on either side when I could have just put it in the centre? Like that one there is. That's a lot cheaper. <laughs> Whoops. Right. Let's just shove that there, shove that one there. Does that one have a middle pillar as well? Yeah, it does. Okay, so it's going to be a lot cheaper then. I knew I'd mess up the pattern somehow. This one here randomly rotated. I thought it was off. It's been like silently bothering me this entire time. Hello there, Gee. Welcome back, mate. Oh, wrong. There we go. Want to play Total Miner? I might do it later today though, once it explodes in a different room. Oh, Jenna, so what's Total Miner about then? Sounds like a mining game, of course, but what are you doing that? Yes, do it. Do it. Play games. Enjoy yourself. It's the weekend. Though I say that, enjoy yourself. It's the weekend. I really fancy drawing. <laughs> I've been um, really quite itching to do a commission. But at the same time, Valheim. Ah, too many fun things to do. Hard choices. Ah, that is true, Mine Wolf. Yeah, the emergency support would probably be quite handy, actually. That's my phone. Hello. Right, let me just stick that around here. If I can. Wait, right there. There we go. It's a very unfinished and complicated Minecraft. Really? Ooh. So when you say it's unfinished, does that mean like it's early access or it just never got finished? Oh god, ale, no. Alice, <laughs> my friend, I don't I don't swing that way. <laughs> Say now, Alice, there is something related to you that I do plan to draw draw quite soon. Once my commission queue is done, I do have a, uh, a thingy thing. <laughs> yeah, old mate, you should all know. <laughs> you are not prepared. Oh, whoops. Stick that there, stick that there. And grab that. Oh, I see, Jenna. Oh, that's a bit of a shame, then. So I was going to say, like, a more complicated Minecraft sounds like something that Kev might enjoy. But if it's something that might never be finished, then oh, that's, that's a bit of a shame. Uh, yeah, Mag, you can, actually. I don't know why I've not been doing that already. <laughs> but, yeah, you can. 
That's just, uh... That's just my mind working in mysterious ways. <gasps> I ran out of wood! Right then. Well, since I'm right here at base, may as well get some more. Uh, oh, fair, fair enough, Vegeta. That's a bit of a shame to hear, but that's entirely fair. Where is the card? The card is already on the other side of the path. Uh, I will be getting that back. Oh, I have no more wood here. Right, it's all in the cards. That's okay then. I can always fix that side. Sorry, random stretch. Oh, excuse me. I needed that stretch badly. As I was going to say, uh, I forgot I took all of the wood into that other cart. So that's already at the other, side, other end of the path. That's perfectly okay. I can always fix this end later. It doesn't have to be done right now. Do we have any wood at all? We've got a little bit of wood. Let's go ahead then and just, you know, flesh out whichever remaining bit there is and then go back to the other end. True, Draki, true. Mate, that is true. Oh, there we go. And we can always just fix that up later. So stability, yep, stability is all good. <gasps> but who was phone? Who is card? Who is phone? Oh, that's okay, Ronnie. Like, obviously, I appreciate that you want to chat, but mate, if you want to lurk, that's completely fine. I lurk in every stream I watch. I don't. I very, very rarely talk in live streams. That uh, that uh, that I watch. It's just then again, it's probably because I kind of you know I do things while doing a. I watch streams while doing other things, so that might be why. But I just like sitting back in it. Sitting back and join the show. Let me just stick that there. Ah! Phone! Oh, cancel. Wait, Mother's Day? Wait, no. Is Mother's Day tomorrow? Mother's Day UK. It's tomorrow. Oh fuck. I mean it's COVID anyway, not not like we can do anything. Yeah, in the UK it's tomorrow. <laughs> Whoops. I mean, not not like I mean, if I'm gonna be entirely honest, not like I can even do anything anyway. I live so away, so far away from my family. Like, I guess all I can really do is just, you know, buy something on Amazon and ship it to, to my mother. What's tomorrow? Uh, Mother's Day kit soon. In the UK. It's different between uh, countries. Like, what, what holidays is it? I think it's like Mother's Day, Father's Day, and Easter are like different in different countries. No, I think Easter's the same actually. Easter just has a different time every year. I don't know. Holidays are weird, man. Mate, mate, you're weird. <laughs> you're weird, Key. Fight me, fam. Fight me. God, imagine, imagine not being weird. Ah, cool wood. Not really what I needed, but it, I guess it works. Oh god, everything's breaking. I didn't even mean to break that tree. Haha, <laughs> Ah, oh, you guys are fun. You're weird and you're fun. Imagine being normal, mate. The funny thing is, right, is that I sometimes feel like the most normal person in the community and I'm not sure how to feel about that. Yeah, exactly. Weird is normal. Exactly. Right then, just get rid of these two here. Big old ugly stumps. And... Gone. 
Right, I'll check the core wood away in there because I'm never actually going to use that. And otherwise, I've got a little bit more wood now. Right, I think here... Yeah, let's start doing some upward slopes now. Like that. That's all I actually need, isn't it? And then I can start doing that again. So it might like cut into the terrain slightly here. But I don't really think that's a big deal, is it? Yeah, not at all. Actually, no, I say that. Uh, that is going to be a big deal because it cuts right into the terrain over here as well. So we're going to start uh, rising it. Or increasing the height. Oh no, Rakdos, good luck, mate. Oh no, good luck. <laughs> Time to earthbend, yes. So how far away am I? I'm about a third of the way. That's not too bad. To, like, in all fairness, that's not too bad, being halfway there. I'm going to have to do a lot of farming soon, but it'll be it'll be worth it. It'll be worth it. Time to avatar, yes. Oh, that's wrong. I should probably just start using some um, core wood for these, shouldn't I? But I kind of don't really want to. Can I not stick that one there? Anywhere at all? Nah, I guess it's not really needed, is it? Well, it actually kind of is needed. That one is... That one does have a little bit uh, low support. What if I put it there? Would that count? Yeah, that counts. Okay, then. We'll just... Randomly do this. <laughs> Ayo. Ayo, you worry me sometimes. So I got another message on Discord. Right then, let me do that. I'll increase it just one more, maybe two more. Right, now that it's night time, I honestly think that uh, as much as I don't really care about building in the night, I really don't want things like just come charging and attacking constantly, so I think I might turn around and just uh, go get some rest. Yeah, that might be for the best, wouldn't it? That's gonna be for the best. Good ale, good. Right, while I run. How did this happen? How. Gotta fix it. Can't, can't let that stay there. Just like randomly, one bit of the flooring is like at a different, uh, different angle. Now, I'm not really someone who has OCD problems, but that's that's too much. Mate, bugger off. There we go. Let's get a little bit more wood from these guys. That's always nice. And then just stick this one back down over here. <laughs> on the highway to home. Right. I'm getting uh, a lot of messages. Let's just check that quickly. There we go. All good. Am I hearing people attacking? No? Okay. I think it may have just been in my head. I wasn't looking as I was running past just then. There we go, okay, we all good then. We all good. Yeah, my family are currently having a uh, conversation on WhatsApp, so I'm having to just keep an eye on that, make sure I don't miss anything important. Uh, if that small pole is one is one meter, then that'd mean the character you're playing as is about three meters. Wait, that's a fair point, actually. 
Ah! Get away! Oh no, it's a boar! Darn you, boar! Oh, and a brute over there. Ah! <laughs> I know that's like completely pointless, but we'll we, we just leave it out there. It's fine, it's fine. Hydrate, it's a good idea. Give me one second. And I will hydrate momentarily. Balls are just bad piggies. Okay, drink. That's a big stretch. Right then, it is day two, two, two. And it's time to have another marathon back to base. God, that path looks so <laughs> out of place. Yeah, I think it'd be nice if like, may maybe eventually, right? Maybe eventually I'll like decorate the path a little bit. My little archways here and there. Maybe like every uh, every ramp. Or I could just leave it like this, which is probably the most likely scenario. I'm gonna admit though, in regards to like getting the getting the cart out, this is a lot more effective. Like it costs more materials, but I think it, this is like a bit, I think this has been like a lot faster so far. I need to feel like it. Ale. Come on, right there. Let's see you then. Just grab that, move that a little bit more forward to around here. Sell out, go brr. So I don't mind, right, if every now and then the path does cut into the terrain a little bit because I only need like one width, oh sorry, uh, yeah, yeah, one width flooring to do the job, to bring the cart through. So if every now and then it cuts through like this, sounds okay, to be honest. I think it is. Oh, whoops. Grab that back. And just stick down. Oh no, I ran out of poles. No, I ran out of wood. Just stick one right there, I'd say. And I believe I'm officially out of wood. I am. Bugger. Well, thankfully I'm right in the middle of the woods. Is that a- Oh, I remember this! So at one point, yesterday, as I was running past here, I got attacked by a troll. And look at this awesome shaped hole it made in a rock. <laughs> a little bit intimidating to see, isn't it? Right, let's get a- I think I'm gonna start off with like all the random uh, logs and such for wood. Oh, that, okay, that one yeeted. You know what I just realised, right? You know what I was just saying about how oh, I'll be so easy to get a whole bunch of wood around here? I just noticed everything I'm surrounded by is pine. Which means that I'm only going to get cool wood. I mean, I get like a bit of regular wood, but not quite as much as I'd want. I need fur. Wait, Gee, Mag, you want mate? <laughs> Don't you go talking about my hips? No, no, I need uh, I need fur trees, not not furs and pelt. I need fur trees and fur log, fur, fur log, fur wood, fur. Oh, grab that.
and yoink that down there. Oh, actually, that's a bit too small. Let's yoink that one down there. Perfect. This is the kind of thing, right, that as long as it's taking, it's going to be so worth it by the time it's done. Like, the amount of convenience and time I'm going to save for, like, bringing the cart back and forth. Mate, I'm not a damn Jowie! <laughs> damn you guys! Right, you want to get that there and chuck that there? I'll tell you guys what. I do. I'll tell you what. I really. I am gasping for a cup of tea. Like, you may have noticed I've gone a little bit silent. My mouth feels a little bit dry. And I've, I've been having water. And you know what I think it is? I think I just really need a cup of tea. <laughs> because I've only had one so far today. So I am. I know it's a bit abrupt. I'm going to go take a quick little break because I did mention how I woke up very recently. Not quite fully awake yet. <laughs> so give me one moment. I'll be back in five minutes. Mate, I, I need a cup of tea so badly. Yes, I need to grab the hot leaf juice water. I've logged out, by the way, in game. That way I don't get uh, raided. It'd be kind of horrible if I got raided while AFK. Oh, let me just uh, fix that quickly. And I want a five minute break. Right then, guys, grab yourselves a drink and I will be on B.
Leo. Oh, Luna. Okay, give me one sec. But Jess, hello, I'm back. Um, Luna just literally, <laughs> as I started, Luna just knocked off a whole bunch of stuff on the desk of her tail. Hello, Luna. How you doing, mate? Hello. Oh, dear. Okay, I'm back now. Yeah, I was thinking, right? As I was off making that tea, I was thinking, like, how can I describe, you know, the way of tea? And it's that I find, right, at least for myself so far, my general schedule. Is it schedule? No, not so really the right, right word. My general habit, right, is where... The first cup of tea of the day is what makes me human. You know, it wakes me up and it makes me, you know, functional as a human. But the second cup of the day, the second cup of tea of the day is where I actually become like a functioning person. <laughs> so one of them, like, so the first one is to take me out of zombie mode. But the second one actually makes me, you know, coherent and cognitive. <laughs> I think Ale might have that as well, actually. I think you could relate to that, right? Because it just dawned on me where most days, like, for example, like before streams, most days I'll have like that first cup of tea at the beginning of the day to like get myself going. But then I'll always have that second one before I actually start the stream. And that's where I become alive. Become functioning. Yeah, man, I literally function on tea. It's probably a placebo, right? It, if we're going to be real, it's most likely a placebo effect. But hey, it works and it's tasty. I like it. Exactly, Ragdolls, exactly. There we go. Well, yeah, and it's probably also the caffeine, that's right. Well, that's the weird thing, right? Is that I have tea, like, both for waking up and to help me fall asleep. I find, like, I think it's also partially a mentality. Where when I have a cup of tea before I'm going to bed, that, like, that one will really tire me out. I feel really relaxed and sleepy. That one probably is placebo. But fuck it, it worked. Right, we'll just yoink that right there. We will add another pillar here and here. Oh, whoops, right, right there. So we start going downwards again. I know that realistically I probably could have just chopped it through the uh, rock, but eh. Oh, Mag, that's adorable. <laughs> Ractals. Oh, I'm in the way of that. And I've got, I've already run out. Right, I need to do a very big wood run, don't I? I just got like a whole ton of wood. Now the issue is, is I'm surrounded by bloody, um, by pines everywhere. I guess we'll cut down a couple of pines, actually. It means I'll get uh, a lot of cool wood, so it'll take me longer to get regular wood, but, I mean, they're everywhere, right? Got that stump there, took a long time to cut down, didn't it? Oi, come back. There we go. Oh, I have a hot chocolate to start your day. That's that's a lovely idea. That's a good one as well. Oh, eat the tail. Tea has more caffeine than coffee, but it's also less active compared to coffee. So this might be why tea addiction is far healthier than coffee addiction. Really, I... I'm a bit skeptical to believe that. I mean, I wouldn't really consider like any addiction to be healthy, but just just in general, though, though that uh, it has more caffeine than coffee, that's really surprising to hear. <laughs> and yeah, true. I find cordwood is something I struggle to use more of because I have a ton of cordwood already. I guess I can just start using that for the pillars instead then, for the uh, support.
and that way it'll space out the amount of wood I actually use uh, for the structures. Oh, there's a couple nodes right there as well. May as well mark that out. There we go. That's the thing, actually. I've been neglecting getting copper. I guess this path here is going to make that a lot easier, to be honest, because I can just get it back in one big go. But uh, I've actually not been getting any copper at base for a while now, and I've completely run out of tin. So that's something I'm going to have to do at some point. But uh, by the way, I don't think I've actually mentioned like why I have such impetus in doing this. Because obviously I need to get a path anyway. But the main impetus for me like doing this great big pathway now is because last night I did try out the wishbone. Spent some time in the Arctic, and I got fuck ton of silver. I got tons and tons of silver, but the issue is though, is that it's all the way to the other continent, all the way up here. So I've got no, you know, good way of bringing it back yet. And I kept it at the idea of me using, like, processing all the silver, making silver structures in my old base. But then, I just don't like it though. I like everything being in one place, because you kind of need it for certain things later on. Oh, this one. I've actually not been to this one yet. It's a wolf right there. I've not been to this mountain biome yet, to be honest. I had a bit of a wander around this one, and it ended up being completely crap. But, yeah, no, I've not been here yet, have I? This one looks like it's quite a bit bigger. Maybe, um, if I have time after I've finished the bridge, maybe I can check it out then. I've got tons and tons of uh, frost resistance potions now. Oh, Rakdos, uh, personally, I get rid of the stumps just because they're ugly. Like, I know it sounds silly, but if I cut down a tree, I want that tree to be completely gone. And it does give extra wood, yeah. But for me, it's more of a, uh, it bothers me if there's like random stumps everywhere because I think it just looks really shit. And to be fair, actually, as a more uh, functional reason, it's, uh, it's, if I wanted to plant more trees back down, then they would compete for space and I wouldn't be able to plant, like, the trees wouldn't be able to grow. Because trees require uh, certain spaces to grow. Unlike Minecraft, where you just plant them anywhere. But for me, it's more for the completionist. You know, if I cut down a tree, I want it gone. <laughs> Which I know is kind of silly. Right, yeah, let's start using cord wood for this, for the um, pillars. Let's grab some of that. It doesn't really make much difference, I just may as well use it instead. In fact, I'll put that over there. And that one over... ooh, there? Good. I'll try to stick that one underneath if I can. Ooh, right there, perfect. And our stability, perfectly fine. I'll put that one there just because I want to. Shift left, ma uh, shift left, shift left, and mouse button selects um, all. Oh, that's actually really cool, Jackie. Mate, no, that sounds like it'd be really convenient. And put another little pillar right here. There we go. One there and one. Right around there. Perfect. Right, I think I'm getting to the point now where I can start turning this around, can't I? Start putting it to a curve. I think I am. But before I do that, what I do want to do is just chuck away all this for now. Because we've got, we have all these fir trees right here. I want to go ahead and just get all the wood while I can before I move on. I don't want to punch it. Don't fist the wood. Hey, kid soon, to be fair, 42 is a pretty good number. It might not be the biggest number, but it's a good number nonetheless.
<laughs> Hot beef juice water. Oh god, a key! Key, that's terrible! <laughs> Things attacking me. I'm pretty sure, right? So there's a crypt right here. I'm fairly sure there are. Oh, in fact, I just saw it. You can see it. There's a skeleton. Oh, it's a wolf right there. There's a skeleton stuck inside that copper node. And that wolf is eating. That wolf is off. Wait, is it? Is it coming back? It's off. Come on, grab that. There we go. Oh, there's two wolves now. Ale, no, stop. The ale's cruising for a demotion. <laughs> what do you guys think? Think someone's cruising for a demote. Ban ale, cancel. Oh. Wolves? I don't think they'll come to me, but I'm getting a little bit paranoid. Yeah, it's interesting. The wolves keep on com uh, keep on coming over to investigate all the sounds. But then they keep on running away since I look at them. It's, it's just cool, man. I, I love how the AI works in this game. It actually feels like that, you know, they have spatial awareness. As opposed to detect human, kill. In fact, it's coming a lot closer now, isn't it? Well, too bad I'm off. Yeet. <laughs> Jesus Christ, has. Are the wolves still coming towards me? I think they actually might be. Hold on, let me let me take a quick little look. I can I can hear the howling getting closer. Yeah, it's like they're getting ever so slightly closer. At least that one down there is. I still was trying to do is trying to attack the skeleton that's inside the um, copper node. That makes more sense. Oh well, so long, as long as it's not on me, I don't really care. Right. It's time to start making the path go a little bit diagonally. So I just want to go into this direction here. How am I, how am I going to snap that? Oh, this is going to be awkward. Oh, just like that. There we go, perfect. Yeah, exactly, Drackey. Yeah, I think you're right. If it, it felt like, man, it felt like they're coming for me. <laughs> I was worried. Right, I think that works quite nicely. Well. And callward that bit right there. All I can hear are the distant howling. Uh, is the howling in the distance. It's getting a little bit foreboding. As you know, I'm over here doing my own thing. I'm actually going to go ahead and just do this here in case I ever need it. It's a bad place to do that, actually. Uh, where's a better location? Oh god, everywhere. So diagonal. No! You guys trying to think of like how how heavy your characters weigh? I I, I could be asked that personally. <laughs> how much does a Jowie weigh? Yes. Okay. How how much is yes yes it does. Oh. 
feel like I haven't got that kind of patience to um to describe that or measure it. How strong is Jowie though? Yes. It it, it is. <laughs> I hope that answers your question. Just it is. Oh god, oh hello, it just went dark. Right, I'm starting to run out of food, aren't I? I am. Okay, I guess it's time to go for another trip backwards then. Uh, while I do that, actually, let me just bring like all the crappy stuff with me. So, all of that, we'll drop off the wood. But we'll take like all of that, for example. That's all I can bring. Uh, actually, I'll bring the meats with me. I can cook up some food with that. Cheats by using pre-existing stats? Exactly has. <laughs> That's what I'd do. I'm hoping they don't actively attack it. They don't actively attack it. That's good. Oh, good. So I know that sometimes the enemies do uh, automatically attack some structures, but I guess it's more like the useful things like portals, like benches and chests. Maybe not the path, hopefully not. Oh well, I'm happy to like, figure out the hard way as time goes on. Oh, fair enough, mind wolf. Fear enough, fear enough. I wouldn't really want that to be honest, Gee. I don't... This is going to sound like kind of petty. But I don't like the idea of people like playing as Jowie. There's always gonna be like that. I'm paranoid, right? There's always gonna be like one arsehole who just does something really inappropriate. Oh, and one more. Let's chuck away all the berries in there. That's a cool thought. I will admit, that's definitely a very cool thought. I feel cold. Oh no. Oh, okay, I, I get you. Yeah, I, I don't really know like what um, D and D race making actually entails. Yeah, exactly. Saying that, at some point, I would like to make like I've got like a lot of characters, right? The Jowie's obviously the most well-known one, but I've got a couple of others, like the Pokies, like probably the second most well-known one, which isn't very well-known to start with, but it's an example. I think at some point I should like try and give those creatures like a bit more attention so people could actually do things with them. I think that'd be nice. The bees are happy. Yes, the bees are happy. Right, got stamina, got health, got rested. Still got my Ichthyr buff, let's get back to work. Everything's prepared and we are good to go. <laughs> Ale, I like it. Give a man a campfire, they'll be warm for the rest for the night. Set them on fire and they'll be warm for the rest of their life. The more you think about it, the more true that is. Did you guys know that you can spend the rest of your life not breathing? Technically, you can. Uh, I just, I just wouldn't recommend it. Don't, don't do it. <laughs> and there goes the wolves again, trying to get that one skeleton stuck in the rock. Oh, and all the wood is in here, isn't it? Yep, there it all is. Oh, oi, don't! Stop fisting it! Hello, Kev. You all right? Good. Ah, 
How you doing? Okay. Just do your thing. Okay. Shall I push it over? Yeah. Alright then. Give me one moment then, guys. Let me get my piddle. Oh no, where is it? There it is. Right, there we go then. It is a push to talk time, and it's Kev is now down here with me. And yeah, that sounds pretty cool, though I wouldn't have a clue personally either, but it does sound like a really cool idea. I imagine, like, mate, the sheer amount of D&D uh, &D people on the server, I reckon, like, anyone would um, give you a hand at that if you ever wanted it. You probably already know that. I think it'd be worth a shot. The highway to low? Just sure, Ale. Sure. Just, just for you, fam. We'll call it the highway to low. Oh, there we go. At one point I have a sign for it. That reminds me, guys. So I was watching another streamer last night playing uh, Valheim. I needed the cutest thing that I'm going to do as well. Um, definitely ripping the idea from him. I've technically done it in Ark already, so it's not that much of a ripple. But uh, what he did was that he had like a little board up that just showed the names of like his um, top gifted sub, top cheerer, top donator. Just somewhere in his base. I thought it just looked really cute. Like little torches and trophies and everything all around it. I thought that'd be a cool little thing to do at some point. Right, I'm going to start rotating this again to that direction. Oh, uh, I really need a pillar here, don't I? I can try and shove one in that little corner down there. Oh, nearly had it for a moment there. No, I do not have it at all. Give me the corner. Oh, shit, what Aha, perfect. True, Jenna. I mean, true, but it's. I think it'll still be fun, though. Or, or would it be too sellouty? I think it'll be nice, like, just, because you see it, like, on the stream anyway, right? It'll just be, like, a nice little fun in-game thing. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, exactly, like a Hall of Fame. Exactly that. Oh, uh, hello. Ah, Nanny. So I actually did the same thing in Genesis as well. I did a little Patreon board on Genesis. Which I really miss and wish I still had that. I mean, I technically still have it, but we've not seen it in a long time, have we? I think I'd be nice to do like a similar thing again. A little in-game Hall of Fame. Put a copper node right there. The other thing is, right, I can't think about, like, how am I going to do it in-game? Like, where's it going to be? Because the way he did it, he had, like, a, um, a cylindrical base. It was, like, a tower. Or, like, a round tower. So he just... It was all made out of stone, so for him, he just made, like, one wall out of wood instead. <laughs> oh, God, I just thought of a totem pole. <laughs> imagine... Oh, I imagine, like, a big obelisk or a totem pole. That's really over the top. But I think that'd be really cool in some way. <coughs> oh, workbench. Can I get just about in range of that? Ooh, just barely. There we go. We'll move that around. So the reason why every now and then, so it is better if I put the uh, bench on the floor or on the bridge, but every now and then I'm moving it away just because I'm noticing that I get like a bit larger range and it's there's, um, I can build for a lot more before I have to, you know, turn around and go move in and put down another one. Hydrate! I shall- Oh, cup of tea, that's right. Thank you very much. Ah, oh, lovely cup of tea. Yeah, Guy, that'd be really cool, actually. Exactly, like giving everyone a little trophy. Yeah, I think it should be like really fun to do at some point. There is one trophy I've been trying to farm that I've yet to get one of. I think I've so far gotten a trophy for nearly every creature I've encountered, except for the sea serpent. If it even drops one, I hope it does. I've yet to get a trophy for a drake. That's what I've been really after. But I think I've got like everything else so far, in the, uh, so far that I've encountered. Man, I want a Drake trophy. Actually, uh, speaking of Drake, 
I've already found the fourth boss location. And turns out, I don't know if I got lucky or not, but I think I already had the means to summon it. I do not have trophy for Skeeters, no. I don't know if they dropped one. I guess in theory they should, because the leeches do, so it makes sense the Skeeters did. Hmm. Maybe I have to kill a couple more of them then. Oh, grab that. Grab that as well. Yo, dude, Becca's streaming. Oh no, Jenna, mate, yeet it. Damn you, Windows. Saying that, my my streaming PC has yeah, been yeah. requiring a um, me, an update off. as well. I should probably do that tonight. Right, how far am I then? Oh, I'm getting quite close now. I'd say I'm about like what two thirds of the way done. Maybe more like halfway. That's progress, though. They do have trophies. Oh, fantastic. Good. Oh, you know what? Gee, now that you mention it, I really, really do want to see Serpent Trophy. Oh, is it only 10 warriors. HP? Wow, so I've been like using good arrows on them, that, that way I'd never risk losing them. Only 10 HP, that's know. crazy. Like, I knew they were glass cannon, but that's insane. starred ones. I never thought about that. I imagine like a one star or two star one could probably one shot yeah, you, couldn't it? No and then. And mine will let them know in a moment. Oh they could really? Oh no. That sounds horrible. Yeah. It's what I've noticed right. I'm, I might be wrong. It might just be like confirmation bias, but so far it's felt like that mosquitoes do percentage space damage. Okay. It feels like they always do. Is it 90 pierce? Fucking hell, that might be it then. I was going to say, like, it always felt like they did half my HP. But then maybe because I'm always rocking like about, you know, like 120 odd. I know that's not half of 90, you know what I mean. Yeah, like I was saying, so, Gee, that makes a lot of sense. God, that sounds horrifying. I... Uh, I was gonna say, right, I wonder if this game they do, like, some kind of bug repellent, but I realised they've not got that for literally any other creature. Why would they do it for Death Skeetos? <laughs> oh, Lord. Well, true, Kev, but eventually you have to go to the zone. Heh, wait. Mine wolves this In fact, a lot of the chats is high, by the way. Kev says hello. Okay, that's cookie. Fuck you, I do. <laughs> Amaze, it's your cookie, not mine. Okay, that's cookies. Right, I have some of that. <gasps> I have cookie. Woo! Uh, BRB chat, cookie time. It's a massive one. It's like the size of my hand. It's hard to build with cookie. Like no. one handed building. Help. <laughs> Fucking Kev is telling his friend. Like, Kev's a voice chat, right? 
I'm just telling his friend about how he just gave me a cookie and now I've stopped talking. It was a bribe, wasn't it? <laughs> Do it, Kitsu, it has cookies. Good, Ronnie. Enjoy the cookies. This one's massive, by the way. I'm about like two thirds of the way done. Oh no, that was a damn good cookie. Thank you, Kev. And guys, you all know what goes. What, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Do you want to know what goes even better with a cookie? A bit of a cup of tea. Oh, that was good actually. Right, so let's just yoink that one down and yoink that one down there. I'm gonna start doing like another turn now because we're getting to the point now we can start going this direction. So I do still want to go to that part of the beach and not into the swamp. I'd much rather avoid the swamp. Vanilla cookies, but they are so crumbly I need a plate to eat them. Oh dear. These ones are um, milk chocolate ones and they're, they're not like the super soft type. They're like a little bit on the harder or more oh, firm yeah, side. But nice, nice texture though. Nice chewy texture. To get okay. Right, let's just... Oh, whoops. Let me do that. Let's just get to that corner there. And this one here. Honestly, I am kind of glad now that I'm using the uh, core pillars instead because I know it doesn't really make much of a difference, but it just looks nicer and it gives them a bit more of a use. It feels like I'm wasting, you know, like, uh, it feels like I'm being a bit more efficient with the wood instead of just using the regular wood for everything. I like it. Let's go with this rock right here, it's in the way. <laughs> the cookie took my ability my ability to speak away. That's true, man, it did. But it was a damn good cookie that was worth it. Oh, that one. Hey, good old cookies and milk, isn't it? Much, right, right. we're going in a good direction? Yes, we are. Zone Gamer, welcome mate. Welcome to the stream. How have you been today? Or how's your day been, I should say? 
Oh, actually, don't Where I Where have you been today? No, I meant to say, how, how have you been? How have you been? That's not what you said. Well, I meant it with the nicest Rude. intentions. Hey! Yeah. yeah, where have you been today? How dare you show up late? <laughs> That's not what I meant. Yes, welcome! <laughs> right. Oh no, I'm not rest anymore. I play Mind Wolf. I gotta admit, as uh, as skeptical as I was of doing like this great big thing at first, it starts to look really cool. And then I just randomly kick the air. Nice. Mm -hmm. Glad to hear that you're doing well, and I'm doing very well as well. Thank you very much. I, I didn't mean to say where have you been. I meant to say like you know how have you been. I don't know, mate. Mate, it's Saturday. I don't claim to be say saying on Saturdays. You know, much anyway. Just just a little bit. Right. Do I want to keep on going straight, or do I want to curve it again? I think I will actually keep on going straight. Uh, in fact, yeah, same, I'm, almost there. I th I'm debating. I can either just keep it going forward and upwards, or have it go down slightly. I think maybe just keep it going like the current level is at now. Really will look like a bit of a highway then, won't it? I think that might be for the best. Because that current terrain here is a little bit all over the place, isn't it? You're oh. at home. Good. I, I hope you're comfy at home and having a good week. <sighs> And having a good weekend. Words are hard. God damn it. I'm sorry. <laughs> right, let me just... Oh, oh, that did not go as planned. Let's just quickly do it a bit faster. Bollocks. Yeah. Okay, I think I might have to do it here instead. Yeah, like I was saying, words are hard, man. Yeah. At least they are for me. <clears throat> that cookie with me, I blame the cookie. Fuck you. Hey, fuck you. Is that actually supported? It is. Oh, well, apparently this here is perfectly supported, but it's triggering me. Yeah, well, tall stones really good for sacrifice. No, nope. okay. Let's just carry on this way. In fact, I got that tree right in the way there, don't I? Let's get rid of that quickly. You know what? Every time we've had a storm, I'm constantly looking at the sky. I think I might just ask Loki what that Easter egg, uh, what the Easter egg is, because I've still yet to see it. So it's bothering me. I bet she was trolling me. I bet that actually isn't one at all. <laughs> I can see her doing that. Jackie, tell me. Okay, there is one. Good, tell me. I'm like, I've not been seeing it at all. All right, yeah, yeah, cool. That might be for the best, actually. Oh. Okay, so as much as I like the idea of this being like a very tall highway, <laughs> it's starting to occur to me that actually building it out might be a little bit trickier. Because I can't do it from below, can I? Well, I guess I can somewhat, but not really quite as well. Right, let's see if I can just quickly yoink that down. Nope. I have to do it here, don't I? Right there. Yeah, I'll and then I'll space it out here and get rid of the previous one. So that way it just, you know, shares that stability a bit more. Or space it out, I should say. Oh, Ronnie, I hate that. I know exactly what you're referring to. No! There we go, perfectly supported. Right, Tracky, what did you show me? Oh wow, I'm glad I asked, because I would have never spotted that. I thought it would be like a big face or something. Interesting. Thank you, Tracky. Wow, that is not what I thought it would be at all. I was expecting, like, for some reason, I don't know why, I assumed it'd be, like, a wolf. 
And so I've been like expecting to see like either a human face or a wolf in disguise. I kind of wish it was that now, actually. <laughs> That's cool though. That's a really cute little Easter egg. Oh, what a surprise. The rock I'm building towards is another copper node. <laughs> Bloody copper nodes always in the way. Uh, right, give me a sec, guys, so it's hard for you to see right now. There you go, that should be better for you. Have these, um, whenever I like the stream up like that, has it actually been better for you guys, or does it just look weird? It's not like sometimes turning up the gamma on, some, on things can look a bit distorted. But I'm hoping that makes it look clearer. The game's already distorted, so it's not a problem. Well, I suppose, actually, yeah. Can't make it any worse. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. I guess you got a point there. It is better? Good. Good, I'm glad. So I know that's... Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> As I was going to say, I know that sometimes during the night it can be a bit much, can't it? Where you can't really see, like, anything at all. There we go, got it. Nailed it. Oh, damn you, game. Just let me put the thing down. Whoa. It looks fine? Good. Good, good. Right, is that? That's probably supported, which means I can put that down. No, I can't. Wow, this is really stubborn. Yep. Unlike our Saturday run last week. <laughs> that kind of works. If you do it like fast enough, it'll like, you'll have a chance to squeeze it in. Come, come back! There we go. Right then, let's just stick down. So we've got this great big mess of pillars. I want to put this one just here, where it's meant to be. There we go, so I can get rid of all these other ones all around here. There we go, that should be perfectly stable. It is, good. Good, good. <gasps> Saga! Enjoy the cookie! Take the cookie. Right, um, oversights. How on earth am I going to get back up here? You think you killed Draki? What did you do to Draki? Eidolf, why do you do this? So, a bit of an oversight. This is going to be a bit harder to build. However, as soon as I get to that rock there, it's going to be worth it. I'm, yeah, I'm going to just about brush over. In fact, uh, right, as soon as I get to the copper nodes, I can start aiming back downwards again. That should work, I no, think. They got, they got 20... Oh, mine wolf. What did you... Mate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. L let me know. I think it's safe to say I may have like overdid this a little bit. Not that it's the first time I've ever done that, but I definitely think I've been overdoing this. Well, that kind of works there. Which one? Oh, has have a wonderful wait. You... Oh yeah. You know the You're going to become man sheet burrito. I love you guys. You're weird. Have a good night, has. Enjoy being man sheet burrito. Mine wolf. What did you say? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mind Wolf. To be fair, Mind Wolf, I had the same uh, first impression as well. Oh, Mindlessly wow. crack part. Mate, you're weird. 
actually, come to think of it, I don't actually need to do that yet. I'm gonna start doing that, because that does actually make a difference in terms of, in, in terms of support, where it does actually make uh, the flooring a bit stronger. But I'm not gonna do it here, it's not really needed, I've already got it all supported. I'll start doing it like from over here, onwards. I'm gonna have a bit of a hard time though, reaching this particular part, I think. Or will I actually? I've got an idea. This should make it a lot easier. So if I just do that quickly and then just yoink that downwards. Mm, I have to be really quick doing this. There we go. Nailed it. Nailed it, and if I get rid of that, that should still be enough uh, stability support for the rest of it. Yep, all good. There's a bit, <laughs> a bit of faffing around, but it works. <clears throat> and like I said, as soon as I get to that rock over there, I'll start uh, bringing it back down again. Well, I'll have leather gear, because there's all these fucking fighters, dude. So close. Yep. Look at that. So I can just about barely reach <sighs> it. If I do this actually, I probably can reach it. Oh, there you go. Just like magic. Well, we just go like up. a glove. Yeah. Oh, and I ran out of wood. I think I got some more in the smithy though, or in the uh, carts, don't I? Maybe in here. I do. Perfect. Yeah. In hindsight, this is a bit. I, I should have just lowered it down a long time ago. I don't know why I decided to make it this tall. But that's kind of cool though, doesn't it, to be honest? At least I'm I like it. Outside. I think in the future, right, in a couple of uh, days' time, this uh, will look really cool, where as I come down, you just see like, this great big path. Yeah. Wow, I, I, missed, I missed that bridge. You know, bridges are cool, aren't they? Oh fuck. Th no, you AL, you're cool. And you're weird, Kitsune. Not Let's see, if I'm quick enough of this, I can just do the same thing again. The hard part is getting that, that initial first one. So if I just put a platform it. here, and then just yoink yeah, down that. Right, right. Damn it. This can be done if I do it really quickly, like that. There, oh, there we go, perfect. See, somehow, even though it's not actually snapped, it still counts. There we go. I agree. I agree with that. Yes, you are all. Wait, you are all wool, weird and cool. <laughs> You're right. You, you are wool. Oh, I love you, bunch of bloody weirdos. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are great. You make this fun. Fucking wool. Can I just like really carefully just yoink this like right right beneath it? Anywhere right now beneath it. I guess not. So in that case, we'll just carefully put that there and that will honestly be enough in some weird way. Oh, there we go. Oh, 
all mine will though. It actually would have been a good idea, but uh, I'm gonna stick to what I've currently done now because it's, it works well enough. Though that is a much smarter idea. I know, right? Vera actually had a good idea, Kev. We literally kill spiders. <gasps> glass! Hello there, Glass! How are you doing today? Oh, bollocks, I just fell off the cliff. As we one just, casually does. You know, to deal with it. I'm like an ass. Ooh, that's not gonna work, is well, it? Well, it depends on how many we get. If we all have the quest, mm. then yeah, I know Becca doesn't have it. If I do this, I might be able well, to like give some like fake stability. I don't know, I don't know what she's on on her. Yeah, that actually worked. It gave me like a fake sense of stability. <laughs> I love how you can choose this game sometimes. For sure. And yeah, class, I've got Kevin in the background. It's not quite no, here with the stream, but he's he's around though. He chips in every now and then, chimes in even. Yeah, I'm trying to be quiet. Glass says hi. Hey. Hello. It's like, <laughs> Glass says hi. He says hello. Yeah, Ronnie. Well, what to be fair, Kev's actually in the voice chat with his friends right now, which I will be joining them soon, by the way. So I think, like, uh, once I start running out of wood, I'm probably gonna be hopping off myself because we do have plans today. But I thought I just wanted to, like, you know, I'd do like a nice little stream ah, beforehand. We raiding. Yeah, we we raiding. Becca, we'll be streaming the raid, of course. Will I? Yes. I thought it was a weekend. I thought I could have like, you know, time to chill. Yeah, you can come to chill, but you can come to chill while streaming the raid. <laughs> I can stream the raids, to be you fair. I'm stream the raid. Okay, I'm going to stream the raid. Kev says. Maybe we should have like a bit of a break in between then. Well, we got to farm the stacks anyway. Yeah, true, true. And um, that I would like to, you know, sit back and chill with. Yeah, that's going to be a hell of a thing. What, is that actually going to be hard to do? No, just time you soon. Ah, fair enough then. Yeah, that works. We could do that. Becca's going to be streaming the raid. Oh, oh god, that, now Kev's telling our friends we're going to stream the raid. <laughs> Mag says, greetings, you beautiful bastard. Greetings. Yes. Hello, beautiful bastard. <laughs> he called you a beautiful bastard, Mag. And to be fair, Guy, I, I like that those last streams have been chill. Yeah, sure. I am really glad about that because I've always been like super paranoid of them because I know, yeah, you know, you because I can't talk as much and I know that not everyone knows well, but I'm, I am really happy to hear though that they've been chill. That, that makes me extremely happy. Chill but yet chaotic. That's a good way of describing them. Absolutely. So the WoW streams like Discord server? Yeah, nice. pretty much, yeah. Oh, the only downside though is that I can't stream uh, comms or like voice chat during the WoW streams, and trust me, that's a good reason for that. But I wish I could though, because sometimes the things I said are really, really funny. Uh, right, I've if I- have over a month, dude. If I put this here, can I use it to expose? No, I can't, so I can't actually repair then. <laughs> right. I can't repair my hammer. I want to be 60 before. Can I try damage, maybe so like if I do rested, like right be here beneath the flooring or roofing? Yes, it does. Oh, so my thing just it, broke. That was lucky. Yeah. Yes, it does. Mate. That was very, very I lucky. Right, am I still going in the right direction? <sighs> yes, I am. If I go, like, if I keep on just going straight forward, then this is perfect. I know. Oh. 
And Glass, I just saw you said the fact that you're gonna do a stream yourself. To be fair, um, while I'm done with this okay. and I'm on the I'm other uh, voice chat, I might join yours and my to can and just see what you're up to. I won't be able to hear anything, but I'd be able to watch. Actually, that's if you Discord stream. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I just remembered, like, sometimes you Twitch stream as well, don't you? I'll, I'll, whichever one it is, I'll join. Come lurking. Mm -hmm. I've got two as well. <laughs> Kev just made the strangest sound. Yeah, man. <laughs> you want a Discord stream? Cool. In that case, I can join on my old account. Uh, me? Oh, whoops. Me two three or two two. There we go. <laughs> That's entirely fair, I get that. Oh no, Ronnie, that sucks. Aw. Oh, I guess, yeah, like, you fucking do depending it. on your internet, streaming can be, like, quite bandwidth heavy, for sure. Fucking what? Then again, though, like, not all streams have to be, you know, like, really, um, like, high quality. I can say what Obviously, I want. it's, I it's nice. <laughs> Obviously, it's nice to do, you know, like, do 1080p, for example, but if you could do, like, a 480. Oh, no, bro. If your insect can handle that, then that's still doable. <gasps> Twin tree! Yes, exactly, Gee. Stalker Becca mode. I have my. Uh... You see, mate, you know. You know exactly what I mean. Jenna, like as long as it's still extremely fun, that's the important part, isn't it? Mm. Oh yeah, and glass true that exactly. That's always a factor, isn't it? Right, friends, so I am nearing the end of this journey anyway, but I'm starting to run out of food and wood, and I've just been yelled at to come no, join WoW. Well. No, 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 you, you, you didn't yell at me. You were like, um, what's the word? You were relaying the yelling from the friends. <laughs> so I think I might have to hop off. <laughs> you can tell me. All you have to do oh, is go get it. them on this milk quest, it should be... Right. Uh, are you being abducted? Yes, I'm being abducted. <laughs> I am. Fine, Alex. Fucking stay there. We'll, we'll tell you where to log in. Yeah, see, you can, as you can tell, I'm definitely being abducted. So I'm going to hop off then. But it's, it's really nice because we have to chop, um, chop on. What? It's really nice care. we have to hop on for <laughs> a bit, I was trying to say there. And to be fair, I'm actually happy with the bridge progress so far. I was hoping to finish it on stream. But then again, I spent some time like figuring out why digging was a bad idea. <gasps> Gorgon Lord. Thank you for the hydrate, I shall. Exactly, Glass, exactly. You. And you know what, Jenna, that's actually a very, very good point. That's damn right, I have been chopping on with this, haven't I? Nearly at the other end, and then I gotta do the same thing over on the okay, other continent here. Fucking arse on, let's go. So I'll do that on the next stream. <laughs> but yeah, oh, I there. think I oh, think I need there. to hop off now. I'm on the way there now. Yeah, I'm on the way there. <laughs> Alright, guys, I'm just gonna log out here, actually. Um, I really hope you all enjoyed it. Are you hearing this, mate? Are you fucking For hearing this? Any new people? Like... There's Discord and Twitter. Oh, to be fair, Glass, he could. Kev can easily pick me up. I've done it many <laughs> times, yeah. Yeah, you've done it many times. I will see you guys on Discord in a bit, or I'll see you. The next scheduled stream is Monday. So I'll definitely see you on Monday. I might see you tomorrow, we'll see. But either way, I'll see you again very, very soon. So thank you all for the company. It's been really lovely just hanging out. And I hope you'll have a lovely weekend. Cheers.